Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Learn GCP with Mahesh. Today we will explore how to provision a Windows 2019 server and attach an additional data disk to it. So let's get started. So click on the compute engine and you should come to the screen and give a name to your compute engine and in my case it is Windows Server 2009 GCE with data disk demo and select the region of your choice and the zone of your choice and preferably one vcpu 3.75 gb of ram should be good enough for windows server as a starting thing and the most important thing is change your boot disk by clicking on change scroll down and look for look for windows 2009 and if you want to have a desktop experience please choose this option server with desktop experience select it and a quick observation is whenever you are selecting windows operating system the boot boot size minimum boot size is 50 gb select it scroll down and under disk try to add a new data disk click on add disk let's name this as data disk and let it be standard persistent disk and let's give 25 GB of for hard disk that should be good enough all good click on create the windows virtual machine is provisioned and we have a rdp option so first let's download the rdp file the next is you need to create the password for your windows machine so click on set windows password for the user id of your choice and once the password is generated you should be able to rdp into it so let me click on this okay this is the password click on this copy it will get copied to your clipboard and now click on your rdp client you should be able to log in into this machine so all good looks like we are able to log in into our windows machine and once we log in we should see only one disk which is the c drive which is of 50 gb the additional data disk will not be available but we need to format it and get that 25 gb of uh, additional data disk let me show you how to do that so if you go to file explorer You should see only C drive, which is of 50 GB. The 25 GB of additional uh, the data disk is not available. To make that available, go to Disk Management, and once you go to Disk Management, you will have a pop-up which indicates. Uh, uh, the 25 GB of hard disk, whether you want to format it, how do you want to connect it, all those details will come up. So once it comes up, just follow the procedure there and you should be able to access it. So let's wait for that to come up. Yes, you see the data disk one and please don't use master boot record option because it's not a boot disk. Please select GPT, GUID partition table, Click on OK and you should see that 25 GB of disk. Right click on it. Choose a simple, a new simple volume. Click Next. Give it as D drive and you should be all good. Yes, it's created. And if you go back to your screen, you should see your additional data disk, which we created. So that's how one can create a Windows machine with an additional data disk. Hope the video was helpful. Please let me know in the comment section if you want me to do a specific video on a GCP concept. I'm happy to do that. Thanks for watching.